Hi there, and welcome to a new studio vlog. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allison. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'll be mailing all of these wood slice paintings to Barbara from Hopi Roots for our collaboration. She'll be creating beautiful clay sculptures around them. I can't wait to see what they look like finished. Also this week we'll be getting ready for a big shop update, designing a backing for my new Monarch Butterfly pins designing tissue paper in Procreate, and I'll be packing your orders. Hello again. I'm now getting ready for my butterfly painting update. There are 24 paintings total and I can't believe I painted this many butterflies. there it is Friday now and I just finished the live watercolor tutorial and we painted this landscape here um, so now I'm going to take a thumbnail photo for it and re replace my general live watercolor tutorial thumbnail with it um, and my butterfly shop update is going well so far three have found a home um, and it's only been like five hours since the launch, so that's exciting. Thank you so much if you bought a butterfly. It means a lot to me. Um, I'll go ahead and link the page that has all these butterfly paintings that are still available if you would like to give one a home. So after the thumbnail photo, I need to do a few other things, and then I'm thinking of making some pin backings for my new acrylic monarch butterfly pins so i am thinking about um playing around with that today so yeah let's get to it design in Photoshop. I think this will work out. So I am now going to print this off and um, see what it looks like with my pen. So here is my printout and I think it looks pretty okay. <laughs> this is my first time ever designing like a pin and backing. So 
I think it's okay for my first time. I don't know if you can tell, but the ink kind of smudgy, I guess. Like it kind of spread out a little bit on the letters. I feel like maybe it's because of the paper I'm using. Maybe it's not the greatest to print on like this. And I recently got this new Galentine um, slicer thing. <laughs> So I'm so excited about this. I really needed a new cutter like this for the longest time. So yeah, let's cut these. I also have this edge rounder that I'm now going to use on my backings. What do you think of this pin backing? I love it. I know it's like nothing super fancy, but I really like how simple it looks too. So a few weeks ago, I got contacted by a company called No Issue. I will put the link to their um, website below in the description. Um, but basically, it is where you can design your own tissue paper. And I got contacted by them to mention them in a video and some in Instagram posts and stories. And I will, in return, get 250 free tissue paper sheets. So I am going to now figure out how to design tissue paper because I never have. I'm thinking I will use Procreate to design the tissue paper. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes and hopefully I'll be able to finish that up um, today, order it, and in one of these future vlogs we will um, pack some orders with that tissue, pa tissue paper I designed. But anyways, let's do this. <laughs> shop update so if you ordered for me thank you thank you so much um, I think I sold 
I want to say six butterflies. I think that's the right number. <laughs> um, and I'm just, I'm so thankful. So thank you. If you bought a butterfly painting, um, it truly means a lot to me. Also, I want to show you real, real quick the um, kind of like the final design of my tissue paper. Okay, so here is the um, kind of like the idea that I have for this tissue paper, but of course like a repeated pattern and the background, not this black color, but maybe like a green or blue. I would love to know what you think um, of the background, like what kind of color I should have. So let me know in the comments. If you would like green butter or blue and I need to figure out how to make this pattern repeat and like how I'm going to um, actually make this into like tissue paper so no issue they have like um, some kind of design uh, thing on their website that I, I can use so I thought about playing around with that later this week and to kind of figure out how to do a repeating pattern of this. So I need to figure that out and I'll keep you updated in the next vlog how that is going. answer this in the comments below. What is your favorite thing to do when it's cold outside? Because here where I live, it's starting to get a little cooler out outside and fall is on the way, which means winter will be coming very, very soon. <laughs> so I'm just curious what you like to do when it's cold outside. For me, I really enjoy reading. So I feel like I read more when it's cold outside, like during the winter time. So I would have to say that's my favorite thing to do, but besides painting, that is. Um, or else I would probably say painting, like painting on a snowy day is really cozy. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, um, liking this video commenting on this video it really helps my channel thank you for your continued support um i appreciate you so much so so much and i hope that i will see you next week have a wonderful week bye